Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the House of the Lord. I'm Pastor Tom Cuck. I serve as a professor at Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary, and I also happen to be Minister Dan's father. And so Pastor Zietlow is, um, I think he is golfing in Georgia today, if I'm not mistaken, which is way cool. I think he's got a way better climate than what we're experiencing right now, for sure. So I'm excited to be with you to lead worship and to, to rejoice in God our Savior with you. We are to the point in the church here, which is called end time season. And today our focus is on the saints triumphant, that we are going to focus our attention on heaven and the glories that await each of us when we get there. We'll begin our worship by singing hymn 451, Precious Lord, take my hand, asking that God will lead us to our heavenly home.
with a steadfast assurance that nothing can separate us from your love, and for the courage to stand firm against the assaults of Satan and every evil, hear our prayer, O Christ. For the well-being of your holy church and all the world, and for those who offer, hear their worship and praise, hear our prayer, O Lord. Merciful God, maker and preserver of life, uphold us by your power and keep us in your tender care. The works of the Lord are great and glorious. His name is worthy of praise. says the Lord. 
This is the word of the Lord. We continue with our psalm, Psalm 150. It's a psalm of praise in which we simply praise our God for all his blessings to us, knowing that the blessings of heaven will be even greater. Psalm 150, it's on page 122. 122 in front of the hymn. so that you would obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers, stand firm and hold on to the teachings that were passed along to you, either by word of mouth or by a letter from us. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and in his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope, may encourage your hearts and establish you in every good work and deed. Good work and word. Finally, brothers, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may spread quickly and be glorified just as it was among you. Pray also that we may be rescued from evil and wicked people, for not everyone has faith. Still, the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and protect you from the evil one. We have confidence in the Lord concerning you that you are doing and will continue to do what we are telling you. May the Lord continue to direct your hearts to God's love and Christ's patient endurance. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. They are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. Hallelujah.
for our gospel reading. Today's gospel is found in Luke chapter 20, verses 27 through 38. Some of the Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to him asked him a question. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leave no wife but no children. His brother should take the wife and raise up children for his brothers. So, there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and died childless. The second took her as a wife, and so did the third. And in the same way, the seven died and left no children. Finally, the woman died too. So in the resurrection, whose wife will she be? For the seven had her as wife. Jesus said to them, the people of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are considered worthy to experience that age and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. In fact, they cannot die anymore, for they are like the angels. They are sons of God because they are sons of the resurrection. Even Moses showed in the account about the burning bush that the dead are raised, what he called the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for all are alive to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. continue with our theme of the day here at 417. I'm but a stranger here. We'll sing the first two verses and after the second verse we ask the kids to come forward for the children's message. school gets out. Ooh, that's fun. You have some uh, in the school parties, maybe. You look forward to the summer. Yeah, that's pretty fun, right? You got a lot to look forward to in the summer. Absolutely. What else? Oh, some things that you like. Do you guys, um, you, oh, okay, so you like to draw. When you draw, it makes you happy. Excited. 
Do you guys have um, do you have a birthday? That's kind of fun, right? Have friends over, maybe have some cake, ice cream. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, these these are things that we enjoy to do to make us happy. We have fun, but what's that? Christmas. Ooh, and that's coming pretty fast, isn't it? It's such a fun time. We get to celebrate so much, right? Exciting. Yeah, these are things that we enjoy to do, things that make us happy, that we get to celebrate. But, well, do those things last? We get to always have summer break? No. We always get to have a birthday every day or draw all the time. No, those things, 